leave, I want to teach mom and dad how to get Dylan to go to the bathroom, but minimise the amount of time that they actually spend with him when he's going. Kevin, move it on from that, let's tell a whole big story whilst you're sitting on the toilet. Sure, well, it's fun time almost. Correct. And it's kind of, yeah, it's really that, yeah. You see how it was an important shift for you to do when yeah. he was crying in the beginning, and now we can just move on from that. Yeah. And then dad got a chance to give it a try. Let's go party first, and then we'll come back and do Legos. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come here. And settle down. We do this all the time now. Come on. Come to the big boy. I sat Dylan down, and to be completely honest, I was a little worried about it. Not a big deal. Let's just hang out and go party, okay? For a minute, we get him off the subject of potty. What's your favorite truck? Then while I was going off the subject, he peed. Bubbles, yeah. Beep, Are y'all done? You wanna wipe? It's amazing to think a week ago, Dylan wouldn't come out of the diaper without throwing a huge fit. And now he's sitting on the potty and he's going pee. All right, on. All right, let's go play Legos. Dylan needed less attention from dad this time around. And it just goes to show you that he's getting used to going to the bathroom on his own and just releasing and taking a good old pee. Oh. <laughs> I noticed on the DVD that mum and dad don't really give the kids a lot of praise for things that they do and so I wanted to give this family a little something special that would initiate this process. That's the magic phoenix. It does nothing but deliver praise. This phoenix has feathers and some of these feathers you can pull and actually write on. So I asked mum and dad to write something that would praise each child on the feather and then tell a magical story about how Mr. Phoenix came to their home. Hey! There is a bird called a phoenix and it comes to children who have done good deeds. There's feathers and you can take the feather and it has something written on the feather that's going to be very special. Dylan, do you think there's a bird in the backyard? Look Should we go look? See if there's a big, bright, colorful yeah. bird. You think he'll be here? Look oh, everywhere, see. all around. Yeah. Oh, I thought you gotta look everywhere. Oh, hey, what's that? Whoa, what's that? What's that, D? Is that the bird? Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Emma absolutely loved it. She was so thrilled to see it. Does it have any special feathers? What's it say? Very good job, Dad. Hold on. Remembering. It was magical. I mean, to watch my own daughter's face and to feel the emotion she had over this thing. Oh, here's another one. There's a feather for small, you, I think, Dylan. Small, I think maybe it's for Dylan? Yep. Great job on going potty. these kids have been acknowledged for potty training and for using their manners it's just going to give them good incentive to carry on doing so to watch their eyes light up it's amazing because they're like wow what did i do right and, and then they want to keep doing that because this is fun i'm getting not only encouragement from my parents but i'm having these special things and it's it's wonderful for them tomorrow after yeah. school i'm going to come out and get my feather and read it we're definitely going to use the phoenix I really love it. My work's done. It's time for me to leave now. I really hope that this family have taken everything that I've been able to give them so they can become more confident parents. Look out for the phoenix, okay? Bye-bye, Jojo. -bye, Dylan, give me a high five. Okay, bye-bye, Dylan. The future is looking pretty good for the Van Ackers. Keep in touch, okay? I feel confident and comfortable with the tools she's given me, so I'm ready to start our family over in a positive way. Hey, nice um, work, yeah? Thank you. some really good work. Thank you. I really feel confident in myself and my wife to be good parents and lead our kids in the right direction because this is what having a family is about. Bye. 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 If you can work with a family that feel that there's no hope and at the end of it realize that actually there's every hope, then you know that you're going to leave a family a lot more content and actually tomorrow's going to be a better day for them.